early <coughs> in the morning and uh, it's a bit grey and gloomy. It's been raining, um, but we're having, on the back end of the boat here, we're having a new canopy fitted today. Now you might see uh, some down here, sort of around there, that have got canopies on the back. They're sort of like what they call um, pram covers uh, because of the old style sort of prams that used to be pushed around, not so much these days, that had a, a sort of a liftable canopy that came over to protect the, protect the baby. Um, <laughs> but what, uh, what we're having on here is uh, a canopy that comes up to, it'll, it'll be um, sort of about, about six foot high. So as we, as we step in, so as we come um, to this bit here, there'll be sort of two sort of zips that come up that we can then roll up and then we'll be able to step inside. Um, and one of the good things about that is that the, the rear deck that we're on now, the stern deck, you'll see it's sort of, um, I've cleaned it and painted it, but it still gets uh, it still gets very wet, and of course, underneath uh, this bit, under the center section there, we've got the that's the engine under there. That's the engine bay, and this is just covered by um, effectively 18 mil plywood that uh, does it does get wet, of course, when it rains, and it and it tends to rot. Now it all does that, and, and I'll just show you on the boat next to me, this, uh, and you might see this has a, sort of a, um, a pattern on it. Uh, it's called um, phenolic board. But the, um, the ply is sort of put together with sort of waterproof um, glue and it's sort of, it comes in, <laughs> it comes manufactured in eight by four sheets. So as soon as you cut it, and you'll see around the edge here, it gets, uh, it gets rotten. So it doesn't go too far in, so it's better than normal board. Um, but we don't have that on there. <laughs> We've just got normal plywood. Uh, so it's, uh, it, it, it does, I mean, I was, for people that have watched for a while, you might have seen last time, last time we went out for a cruise in the boat, we uh, we had um, we just had the diesel heater fitted, and um, one of the one of the little screws was leaking, and I had to go. And anyway, while I was doing all that. I <laughs> I changed all the boards around on the engine bay because I was trying to find it and I put the wrong board at the front or in the middle and uh, it was so rotten <laughs> when I stepped on it I fell right through into the engine bay um, I hurt my leg a bit but <laughs> not too bad but um, you know I'm hoping to get away from that so when we get the cover on that means we'll have another dry room in the back there it, you know it's just a sort of canvas uh, style cover with windows in so plastic windows a um, bit like a bit like a caravan awning I suppose so that's being fitted today so you've seen it like that and um, a bit later in the video I'm gonna show you that again but also today um, you'll notice down here we have uh, steps, these steps that go up and down to the um, to get in and out of the boat. They're a bit thin, and so they're they're thin this way, and the the well sort of narrow, but they're also not very deep. So uh, you can see. 
that it's quite it can be quite tricky to get in and out you you know you have to be really careful if you're going to walk straight down you have to be sort of twisting your feet sideways um or you can come in backwards and it's like coming down a ladder at that point but um it, i mean it's okay but what we what i am having made is and that's going to be delivered today as well a set of steps that are slightly wider so they're going to be from from here out to there so they're going to be you know about about four four or five inches wider and um they're going to be deeper as well so the steps are going to come out further so these come out down to there but i'm going to bring them out to here to the edge of that and the other benefit we're adding to that is we're gonna we're creating storage cupboards in them as well because these this doesn't have any storage at all we can put stuff behind it but you know it's just that's not really great so we're gonna have um so each step will open up be on a hinge and it'll open up and we've we've gone for the um the bottom i think it's the bottom the bottom step to be just just a a little thing but the middle one is going to be deep and um and go back as well so the top step's not going to be so deep and two so two little storage areas and one big one in the middle so that's going to be um exciting as well so um canopy canopy guys are supposed to be coming at nine and it's uh 22 so we've got another 20 20 odd minutes to wait before they get here and then i don't know how long it takes them so they came and took uh sort of a 3d scan measurement and then designed it sent us the design yeah fine so they're going to bring it it's all pre-made and all they've got to do is just sort of bolt it on um i say all <laughs> it might be a bit more complex than that but we'll see so i'll give you i'll give you an update um when that's done um so i could probably through the magic of video show you that now so here it is uh <laughs> it's all fitted on um very nice indeed the uh the guys have just just left uh you can see it's all really really lovely we went for this uh sort of dark gray color with no edge so the same color edge um, it's a little bit loose here because the doors um, are rolled up at the moment and what he said was um, for the moment just for the next day leave these doors open so that the so that the deck can dry out and uh, it'll it'll be lovely but let's give you a bit of a a more of a view of it from over here I'll, I'll go up onto the bank here and uh, we'll have a look back at the boat there so you'll see doesn't it it looks like a different boat it really is great I'm so pleased with it that uh, and it makes a massive difference when you're inside. Let's go and have a we can have a look inside. Here yeah, they put the uh, put the company logo on the back of here. This is Titan Boat Campies here, um, and they do an absolutely brilliant job of when they come, they measure up so that they know where to put these things, and then it's all because they make the they make all the frames and everything um, and then bring it and fit it it's taken them five hours to fit it <laughs> so they've done an awful lot of work There's, this is um, this stuff around here you see the um, chrome here and then it's got some of this uh, foam padding to uh, to cover up that the doors roll up both sides and uh well you'll see it i mean 
it just sounds different in here because it's inside now when we're looking out of the front of the boat we get that all that view side windows the side windows here the solid at the bottom windows all round and all these this panel will roll up and go onto these so that comes out of there these panels roll up these panels uh, come right out on the zips there and that panel will um, roll up that that one will come out but this one will roll up if we need it to there's some tensioning straps here that they put down just to pull that forward onto there to keep it keep it all nice and tight and gorgeous and it is it's absolutely gorgeous now we're waiting for the steps to arrive this afternoon um, which will be great because you'll see it's a struggle to get in so but again once again by the magic of video here are the steps well there's no magic on the steps <laughs> because uh well they were delivered uh, a day late but um we rejected them because of the seriously poor quality of the build that they, they looked extraordinarily amateurish um, they weren't really finished properly um, screw holes drilled in the wrong place all sorts of stuff here's here's a couple of pictures uh, of it <clears throat> so um, essentially we just rejected them and couldn't you know the guy got really upset um, <laughs> gives me of insulting him but to be honest I felt pretty insulted myself um, because of the you know when you ask a carpenter to build something you expect a professional job don't you but we didn't get one so um, I'm I'm going to be building the steps myself I didn't really want to but you know um, they look they look pretty easy to build it's not you know okay. and you know materials are going to be about i don't know maybe a hundred pounds again so at the end of the day i'll probably get the steps for cheaper than i would have done um having him build them but you know it's still a pain in the ass having you know losing the hundred quid uh I've complained about it. I've asked him for the hundred pounds back. I don't expect to see it. <laughs> you know, really awful. But there you go. Anyway, uh, happier days coming. Um, we've booked a uh, a few days away in March, so uh, you'll be able to see us out and about in the little cuddle bus and uh, see how we get on. It's been a while since we've been away, actually. So uh, that'll be nice. Anyway, that's it for us. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.